For the division in milestone, initially we envisioned that uh, by actually the end of this month, uh, we were able to deploy a contract in an EVM sidechain that was, uh, say, existing without any connection to a main chain, but uh, with the capability of running smart contracts without the ability so to exchange Zen with uh, another chain. These were uh, envisioned for a second milestone with the complete development. And then uh, we thought that uh, could have been from that point on a good moment to improve, make bug fixing, start and kick off an, an audit for that. And the first milestone that we can touch, let's say, would have been uh, milestone one. So we could have tested MetaMask with this one. That is the, let's say, wallet, the most used wallet uh, in the industry. Uh, we think that uh, we managed to do a little better just because uh, now we have uh, actually a connection with the main chain and uh, we are transferring real Zen and uh, Alexander will show. Thank you guys. Let's start here in the demo. We are going to show you that uh, without having a very deep knowledge on what is inside, we have a high level tools like MetaMask, Remix, and others web trick wallets that are able to communicate with our EVM sidechain, showing the balances of accounts, uh, sending transactions, deploy smart contracts, see smart contract tokens, and everything like this. So here in front of us, we're able to see my MetaMask wallet. It's connected to EVM sidechain, like in a REC test. And I have so far just two accounts populated with a real Zen, a real REC test Zen. I mean, but if it will be connected to the mainnet, it will be a real mainnet Zen. So I have this, I see this balance and so on. Let's now try to deploy some kind of a smart contract. Another tool, graphical tool that I'm currently showing you called Remix. It's uh, another Web3 ID for Ethereum compatible networks that allow you to compile and test different kinds of smart contracts. In our case, we just created a simple ERC20 token called my token, for which the creator are able to mint 100 custom tokens, whatever it can be. So we are able to first to compile it. And just want to mention that it's just a pure solidity code of Ethereum compatible smart contract and that easily can be published in exactly the same way to Ethereum network or to other Ethereum compatible network. Okay, it was easily compiled. Now we are going to connect this remix to my Web3J to see that network was connected. I am able to see my address with some balances here. I'm just going to put some names uh, to this token and the symbol, let it be MT. And uh, the only part which is left is just to call a transaction. It automatically connects to MetaMask and uh, provide all the data needed to create this Ethereum transaction. So we actually do not send any Zen. We just deploy a new smart contract. Here we can see a lot of symbols that no one will understand because it's just a compiled code. <laughs> it's for machines. Okay, and what is left is just to confirm what is left. Okay, so far we need to wait a bit uh, to our sidechain to produce a new block, to forge a new block. And then we are able to integrate this token and see do we have any tokens for this balance? So I just press import tokens. I put this account. MetaMask are able automatically detect the symbol. So it's just extracted from the compiled token and understand the decimals. Then it's automatically scanned for my address what exactly amount of tokens I have here. And I just import. Now I'm able to see that my account still has Zen and also it is able to manage these 100 tokens of MT we just deployed. So, so far under the hood, the, our first EVM sidechain based smart contract was deployed. And I, I, I hope that is a good enough achievement for us as for the project. Okay, but uh, that's not all. We are also able to transfer something between accounts, just a EOA to EOA transfer, so-called in Ethereum. Again, the utility is, uh, is quite clear. We just choose the destination. Let's send like three coins here. 
it again understand what is the gas limit price we can do more but it's fine and uh, we are going to send this tree here i'm going to open this account and uh, we need to wait a bit to generate one more block to see that balance was updated here we are now we are able to see that that tree then we sent to another account now it's it's there and metamask is able to see another account balance was decreased by three then so without knowing anything we are able using these high level tools to communicate with our sidechain and do a standard ethereum operations which is exactly deployment of smart contract uh, sending uh, transfers and a bit later also if we have another web three pages we are able to interact with this token more precisely but okay it's not about metamask itself here is it it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> but i shouldn't tell her <laughs> really congrats and also i mean i would say also in a very limited time frame so in just a few months so congrats to to all the all the team that contributed to that albert uh, we converted etxo to account base Right, that's kind of a big deal. Right, I mean, uh, this uh, implied also changing uh, the whole SDK in order to be account-based. And uh, I mean, we designed it also in a way that can be reused in, in even without the EVM. So, because what we have not yet seen is the also the possibility to, for example, uh, our sidechain is, uh, um, let me say, proof of stake. So you can even stake coins for forging blocks and so on. And these kind of operations are going to be accessible, accessible uh, also via, via MetaMask, like a, let me say, any other kind of a smart contract. So you can interact in the, in the in the usual Web3 way. So this implied making a lot of changes in the in the core of the SDK, and uh, uh, and so the SDK now it's let's say Ethereum compatible. So if, uh, even the cryptographic primitives that we are using are are compatible with uh, with Ethereum, and so we are achieving also compatibility with the with the standard tools that are uh, currently compatible with Ethereum. So, I mean, it's much more than EVM integration, I would say. Guys, yeah, let me just say huge congratulations. This is absolutely huge and a major milestone for us as a project. So awesome job to the team. Thank you very much.